Okay, hey, this is a uh, E-Rack, I mean a uh, E-Drum Rack, electronic drum rack, just the rack, and uh, I think it had $10 on shipping plus a $14.99, something like that. No drums, just what you see, just what you see here, yeah. And then I add it to that. These uh, drums here, which I, I clicked and sent him an offer of 120, and he accepted it. Uh, I didn't pay this amount. I gave 120. That's shipping and everything, and uh, that's everything you see here. The module, the wires, the drums, the cymbals. Yep. That's it. And then I added to that this pedal. This is the hi hat pedal for uh, 25 free shipping. And uh, all this is aluminum. It's, it's, it's made really good. And then I added to that these two here, two of them, that'd be $15 each. That way I can make a uh, double kicker, double bass, that way you can do a double bass drum roll or whatever. Alright, my plans here is to paint these. They've got a plastic type paint now that sticks real good and I wouldn't be surprised it probably sticks to rubber pretty good too. But I'm fixing to find out because I've done determined I'm going to paint these. Paint this white, leave this part here black, and I'm going to paint this silver. But also, I'm going to paint these symbols too. At least this part up here. Maybe the whole thing. And I got a gold for it. I'm going to paint both sides. Paint both sides with that paint. And I'll show it next time I'm showing you something, the paint I'm talking about. But right now, what's important is I'm going to clean it with this to make sure that all the factory molding wax or any kind of uh, spray wax somebody might have put on there from the past, it comes off. Make sure it's real clean. It removes all this stuff right here. Then, I'm going to scuff it with steel wool. I think that's all it's going to take. And this is a number three. And um, yeah, let me get underway. Okay, the plan is just take some of this and put it on a rag. Wet it down pretty good. And then just wipe this over that. And just let it sit there for a second or two and it can uh, kind of loosen up any kind of wax or oils or anything then come back with a dry one you know, I'm still letting it sit letting it sit letting it sit I don't want to let it dry I'll have to wet it again with that wax and tar remover This is a dry rag. Paper towel. Okay, I've already did that side off camera. And now I've done this side. Now I gotta flip it over and do the bottom side. And I'll probably tape that up because that's what kind it is. Alright, 
Now I'm using the uh, steel wool. And it'll leave little micro scratches in there for the paint to have something to cling to. And now this other paint I'm going to be using, which I'll show you later, you don't have to use a primer with it. Just make sure to go over every inch of this. Take your time. Don't jump around everywhere. Make sure you cover everything on it, every inch. Go over one section at a time. Go over the top part, like I'm doing here. And when you finish it, then go over this part. And then when you finish that, go over this part. And I've already, yeah, i got to do the other side too. But I went over it with the grease, the wax, and tar remover first. And got it out of the way. And I mean, after I did that, and I kept getting, refreshing my paper towel to a new one. And once I did wipe over it, I could feel a difference. It felt more grippy. So it will help the paint to cling too, also to it, stick to it good. It don't take a lot, just enough to make sure it's scuffed up good. Probably what I'll do is vacuum off these little metal, metal particles. I'll vacuum them off of there. But I want to get the whole thing done first. Yeah, this is a lot more rubbery right here. But I can see it where it's, it's making a difference on it. See it kind of shiny here, dull here. I think they'll look good painted. Now there's a little bit of a brown film right here from when I first started uh, roughing it up with the uh, steel wool. I probably will take some more of this and run over it one more time to make sure that it's clean. And then it's ready to it's ready to paint. Okay, I got them prepared. I've got three to do. One of them's going to be a ride. One of them's going to be a crash. And I believe this one here. One of them's a hi hat. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one's a high hat. But anyhow, this is the paint I'm going to be using. It's designed for plastics as paint and prime by Rust-Oleum. And uh, I've used this stuff before, and this is the color I'm going to be using. And I'm going to make sure to wear a mask. I've got a fan on here. It's going to suck the stuff out. And uh, yeah, we'll get started.
Shake it up real good always. I already shook this one some before I even turn the camera on. Put thin coats on it, just like you, uh oh. They ain't gonna do thin coats. I mean, it covers fast. But don't try to put a thick coat on it. Just try to like, oh man, I messed up. I didn't want that much paint on there. Then it'll stick forever. Just, when you start moving like that, then you start spraying somewhere in there. Now I'm gonna let that sit. But meanwhile, I'll just go ahead and flip it over. That's, that's down in there pretty good. I mean, it's not going to just wipe off real easy. There's a little on my thumb. But anyhow, it's the bottom side. Like I said, I got my fan going here. Believe it or not, I used to paint cars for a living, bodywork and painting. All right, that's enough. Don't need any more of that. Now I gotta set it to the side carefully and grab another one. Just this quick. I'll get all three of them done. Oh yeah, and I taped up all these here. Just little light coats. Because you want to put about three light coats on there. Okay, that's one coat. I'm waiting like 10 minutes to put another coat on there. Probably two coats would cover it. That may be all I put on there. I just want to cover it. Because I find if you try to add too much paint to anything, it gets a thick skin, skin on it. On a car, motorcycle tank, whatever you're painting, uh, symbol I guess. And then it will try to come off. So I don't want this real thick. As long as it's covered. Two coats may do it. So it's been 10 minutes and I'm fixing to put the next coat on it. I want to do the other side first. I want to make sure to get along the edge. Get along the edge real good. Get you up here at the top. Yeah. Make sure your can's moving whenever you do this. Yeah, I'm thinking two coats is going to do it. Make sure to get the edge real good. Wow. Yep, fingerprint. All right, I'm probably going to have to let that dry a little bit and then flip it over. Well, doggone it. I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm going to flip it anyhow. Then I'll come back and have to touch up a couple places. See right there where I touched it earlier? Make sure to get the edges. Got the fan on. Got some kind of a dust mask on. Because the fan's pulling out just about all the fumes. It's just like dusting it. Dust painting. You're just dusting it. Gotta find a way to turn this around. Okay, that's all this is going to get. I'm going to go back, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to go back and touch up my few little spots, and then do the other two. And we'll look at them. Can you believe that? Look at them. They are beautiful. 
That's two of them. They're drying. And there's one over there drying. And I think that's all I'm going to put on there. It took two coats to cover. I touched up one of them a little bit. The other two turned out okay. But now in my next video, I'm going to be doing the drum. The drum part. And uh, I'm going to be painting this inside here, right here, white. This in here white. And leave this here black. And then this is going to go silver. And we may end up later, I don't know, is adding a skirt on here to go around here to give it some depth here to the drum. Just, you know, something to go around there look nice. And I got to do the video showing you how I put these together because this did not come with all the hardware. I had to do a little hardware makeup here. But anyhow, that's it for this one. Watch for the next one when we're going to be painting these drums. I got four four or five of them yeah viewing the video okay or giving us a like or subscribing makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment don't you agree